Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. A question I get asked a lot is how to use Android apps or APKs on your PC or laptop. So today I'm going to be showing you an Android emulator which allows you to use Android apps on your PC. And I know a lot of you will already own Fire Sticks, Android TV boxes and things like that, but... If you do have a spare laptop lying around or a PC that you'd like to stream on as well, this video could be very useful for you to watch. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so don't worry if you don't know what an Android emulator is, it'll all make sense during the video. And as a lot of you will already know, if you're using a PC or a laptop with Windows 10, you're not able to use any Android apps or APKs on it. So if you want to use different streaming apps, your movie and TV shows, live TV, Android games, the Google Store, you can't do that inside of a PC or laptop. And that's where an Android emulator such as Bluestacks becomes very useful. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can install it. I'm going to show you very quickly because it is basic. And then I'll show you inside Bluestacks how you can install various different Android apps, third-party apps as well. And then that's it, you're good to go. Right, so first of all, you just want to open the browser on your PC or laptop and visit bluestacks.com. And once you're inside Bluestacks, you're going to see it like this. You can download Bluestacks at the top, download Bluestacks there as well. Or you can click down here and that gives you Bluestacks plus the Samsung Galaxy Store. We're just going to install the normal version of Bluestacks, so click on Download Bluestacks there. Once it's downloaded, simply find the file of where you downloaded it to, open the installer and follow the prompts, and then it's as easy as that. Once you've installed Bluestacks and opened it, it does give you the option to sign into Google Play. If you do sign in, that allows you to use the Google Play Store as well. You don't have to do that, but if you want to get apps from Google, then obviously you will have to sign in. When it first opens, you're going to see it set on Game Center at the moment and show you all these different applications. But you can click on My Games in the top left, and it's going to take you through to this basic looking screen where you can access your apps that are installed on the emulator. So what you can do, you can go straight into the Google Play Store. You can browse all you want and download what you want. But obviously a lot of people want to install third-party apps that aren't available on the Google Store. When navigating, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse, or you can click on the screen with the left mouse button, hold it, and then drag up and down like you're imitating a touchscreen device. I personally prefer to do it that way, I don't know why, but it just seems to run a lot smoother. To close the apps, you can see at the top there, we just click on the cross. Or another thing you can do, if you want to leave the Google Play Store open, we can just click on the tab for home there, and that'll take us back, and then we can go back into the Play Store with that tab. So as you can see, it's, it's just imitating an Android phone or an Android tablet, so now it's going to allow us to use Android apps on our PC or laptop. But how do we get third-party apps such as File Linked, Aptoid TV, your movie and TV show apps, live TV, how do we get all that into Bluestacks? The process is very, very simple. So once again, open your browser, visit a website where you want to get the app from. In this video, we're going to use Let's Crack On .org, click on Downloads, and then we're going to install File Linked. Or you can install anything else that you see on there. So for this one, Aptoid TV, say, scroll down, and I'm going to click on Download Now. It's then going to ask you where you want to save that file to, and then simply just click on Save. Then as you can see, once it's downloaded, now we can put that into Bluestacks and run it as an Android app. So if I open Bluestacks back up, and I'm going to find the file that we've just installed. So as you can see, previously I installed file linked as well, so I'm going to highlight them both and simply drag and drop into Bluestacks. And now what you're going to see are both apps are installed inside the Android emulator and we can use them just the same as we would be able to on an Android device. I don't know why the image is a bit different inside Bluestacks for file links, but if we click on it, you will see it opens up exactly the same. And you can use File Linked as the main way for you to install third-party apps into Bluestacks. You can do it all inside there. And then if we open, say, Aptoid TV, and then once again, you're going to be able to access apps inside here. If we want to download something, it's as simple as we can click on it, click on Install. I'm guessing most of you already know how to use File Linked as well. The same process. 
down here behind my head it does say install then i can click on done and now i'm going to get rid of aptoid tv and then you're going to see that an app has installed inside the emulator from an app that's already inside bluestacks with it so one last thing is if we just want to quickly go into file links like we showed previously i'm going to use kevin porteous's code for this very good store if you are looking for a store with reliable apps click on dismiss now you're going to see you can access all these and then just say i want to install btv click on that downward arrow give it a moment just like we would on any other android device once it's finished we're going to click on that play icon click install we'll click on done we'll go back home and then you're going to see the images or thumbnails they do seem to be different for a lot of different applications but they are the same app that's inside them so if i click on btv you're going to see it opens that which is a third party streaming app for movies and tv shows i always click on deny and then what you will see everything loads into it like you'd expect you can click what you want to click and watch what you want to watch so that is a very useful way to use your laptop or your pc as a way of streaming content or playing android games but there are a couple of things you do need to look out for is your pc or laptop high enough spec is it running a bit slow are there settings that you can change to make it run better and yes there are if i just remove me for one moment at the bottom you're going to see this settings icon we can click on that and then what you're going to see is you do get a few different options by default it's set to 1920 by 1080 resolution if you are finding that it is struggling and it is running a bit slow you can drop that down to 1280 by 720 that is a lower resolution but it will run a lot better on slower devices another thing that you can change is the dpi by default it's on 240 you can change that to 160 once again if you are using a slower device and then another thing you can look at is the engine but these are things that you're not really going to touch but as you can see there's some graphic settings that you can change you can enable software or hardware encoding another thing that may be useful for you is how many cpu cores that bluestacks is using and also how much ram is dedicated to this emulator you can change it to custom the max it's giving is four but obviously if you've got a lower spec system then you may want to drop that down to one or two gigabyte so that was just a quick look at blue stacks it was a question that a lot of people were asking and i did do a video previously on it and i will put that in the top corner now but i found that i were kind of shouting at the microphone i was shouting at you so i do apologize <laughs> but it does seem a lot of people are looking for ways to stream on pcs and laptops with windows installed I'm not sure if this works on Apple devices like a Mac. Do let me know in the comment section down below if it does. But it's a very useful emulator to use. And do let me know if you've ever used it before or do you use it now? Or even are you going to try it and will it be useful? Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. Today we're going to be showing you how you can use an... So today I'm going to be showing you an uh, there we go, uh, So today I'm going to be showing you an uh, Well a couple of things you do nude do nude <laughs>